Are you looking to explore new flavors in the kitchen and minimize sodium? Well, using hard herbs is a great way to start. But first, let's give them some tender loving care. Hey folks, my name is Joyce Manalo, Certified Health Coach. Nice to meet y'all. Thanks so much for joining me today. I make videos for people who want to start or refresh their healthful and mindful journey. Cooking at home is a step in the right direction. So this is episode six of the Herb Basic series where we'll cover hard herbs like oregano, okay? And I actually cut this from my garden this morning to show you guys, and this is a reused package and I took the label off for you. Rosemary, okay? Sage and thyme. And these are considered hard herbs because they don't bruise or wilt as easily as the soft herbs like basil, cilantro, and parsley. And if y'all are curious about the soft herbs, check out my other video um, in the link above or in the description below. So by the end of this video, y'all will know how to wash and store hard herbs so you can use them in your recipes. Let's get started. What you'll need is a bowl to put water in. Um, it doesn't have to be a salad spinner like I have here, but I prefer using this to wash all my fruits and vegetables and herbs. And also we have a kitchen towel or a paper towel roll. Now for this video, I'm going to use a kitchen towel just to be more environmentally conscious, but I want y'all to know that when I do use my paper towels, I reuse them more than one time, sometimes three times. Let's fill it up with cold water. That looks good enough. Here is our oregano. Okay, open it up and grab it by the bottom of the stem and use it as a handle. Go ahead and dip it in the water a few times. Shake it off and the water still looks clean so we can reuse it for the other herbs. Um, I'm going to place this on our kitchen towel that has been laid out. Next, we have rosemary. Okay, here they are bunched up and a little bit. This one's longer than the other ones, but go ahead and grab them by the stalks down here and dip them in the water. Same thing. These that fell, go ahead and get rid of those. Okay, that looks good, shake it off. And I'm going to put this on the kitchen towel as well. Next is sage. All right, here are the bottom of the stems. Okay, let's hold them there by the handle and straighten them out and then dip them in the water. Shake it off and put it on the kitchen towel. Next, we have thyme. All right, these look <laughs> kind of messy. So most likely there's a lot that's going to fall off and that's fine, doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and this is the bottom of the stem. So we're gonna turn that over and just have a good handle on this bunch, okay? And same thing, let's go ahead and dip them in the water. And I like to run my fingers through them because they're so little, the, the leaves, just to make sure that any leaves that are kind of dead kind of fall off, as you can see. Looks good, just one more time. And go ahead and shake that off. And let's put this on the kitchen towel as well. And here they are on the kitchen towel. Just spread them out a little bit. So the evaporation of the water will be a lot quicker with more surface area. Okay, all right. If you're like what you're seeing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Allow these to dry for 10 to 15 minutes and we'll work on their containers for storage in the meantime. I put the herbs to the side and here are the washed containers. Don't worry that they're still wet. The paper towels will take care of that. So use two half sheets or one full sheet, fold it in half or into quarters, make some creases here and just pull them apart. 
perfect. And now we can add one paper towel to each container to capture any excess moisture for the herbs. While the herbs are drying, let's take a look at them more closely. So for the oregano, I'm just taking a little bunch of them here. All right, so as you can see, the stem is skinnier and flexible. The leaves look like traditional leaves and they range from tiny to small. And these are great for chimichurri, stay tuned for that recipe, uh, marinades and pasta sauces, right? Next to it, we have rosemary. Okay, so the stem is a lot thicker and hard to bend um, in comparison to the oregano. And as you can see, the leaves are longer and skinnier in shape. And these are really great um, for any type of roast, which is vegetables or plant or um, animal-based meats, or you can keep them whole to use them as garnish for your dishes or cocktails. Next, we have sage. And as you can tell, the leaves are a lot bigger than the other ones here uh, in comparison to the other hard herbs. And when you touch them, they feel a little furry. Okay, that's the texture of them. And although the stem is as, I guess, the same size or similar to the uh, rosemary, the stem is actually more flexible. Okay, and these are really great pan fried. Um, so they get nice and crispy. You can put them on dishes that have butternut squash and also on top of pastas like gnocchi. Then we have thyme right here. And these are also similar to the oregano with the stem. Um, they're about the same size and they're also bendable. Okay. And the Leaves are super tiny in comparison to the other hard herbs and these are great to saute with onions for your French onion soup or put them in chicken noodle soup or vegetable noodle soup. All right, now that the herbs are dry, we can put them in their containers. So I'll start off with the oregano. Close them up. These should keep in your fridge for five to seven days. And that's how you wash and store hard herbs. I encourage y'all to forage for oregano, rosemary, sage, and thyme in your grocery store. And let me know what you end up making to elevate your nutrition in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share, or hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have, thank y'all so, so much. Remember, you deserve to be happy and healthy. Catch y'all at the next episode.